Welcome Foragers and Wild Brewers, it's James the Forager here and today we're looking at how to craft our own homemade nettle beer or nettle wine depending on how you want to how you want to word it and how you see it. First we'll head out and pick some of the nettles, we can use any part of it, stalks, leaves, older parts, personally I take the tops off and use them for crisps first. So we're making just one litre of this golden nectar in today's video, personally I'd usually work with five litres but when I'm testing things out and doing new things that's slightly different I'll go for these one litre bottles. So I'll start by adding five strips of nettle leaves into a heat proof jug. I'll then add the juice of one lemon and two small wedges of the lemon to the jug too. 150 grams of sugar. You can go on top of this, you can use any sugar, but personally I'm gonna use brown sugar today. I just think brown sugar works really well with nettles in this recipe. Then I'm gonna add 250 ml of boiling water to the jug and stir. This is gonna dissolve the sugar, start pulling out some of that flavor from the nettles as well. I'll top that off after about five minutes with about 500 ml of cold water. What this will do is it'll bring the temperature down from boiling to about room temperature. This means that I won't kill any yeast if I add it in. If I add it in with boiling water, the heat will kill yeast. So for this one, I'm gonna use champagne yeast. So I'm just gonna top a tiny bit of champagne yeast on top of this. You could use beer yeast, that would make sense since we're making a beer but I like the neutral flavor of the champagne yeast. You could also just make your own yeast. Uh, we've got another a video about how to develop your own yeast from the wild. Um, or you could use bread yeast. Might taste a little bit bready later on though. So now I've got it all mixed, I'll pour all of this into our one liter plastic bottle. Top it with a little bit of extra cold water if it needs it. I'm gonna chuck in the nettles and lemons to this, give it a really good shake with the lid on. And then, because we're making this into a beer and we wanna brew it for a bit longer, I'm gonna add something called an airlock. Now an airlock allows the gas to escape from the bottle um, when it's fermenting, but doesn't allow air to get into the bottle. You can do this in loads of different ways and I've got another video to go over that in detail. You can just pop um, a balloon on top, that'll do a similar thing. Once it fills up with the gas, you empty it out, pop it back on. Anyway, this is gonna be left at room temperature now for 14 days and it's gonna let the yeast do its thing. If it's working well, we'll see air starts to bubble out of that airlock. What'll happen is the yeast will start to eat the sugar. It'll produce carbon dioxide and alcohol. With the airlock on, the carbon dioxide can escape um, and the alcohol will stay in there. But for this one, I'm gonna make it fizzy. So what I'll do after 14 days, I'll take the airlock off. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar into the bottle and pop the lid back on and then give it a little shake. And what this is gonna do, that sugar is gonna reignite the fermentation. And now when it bubbles, the carbon dioxide can't escape and it's gonna make the beer nice and fizzy. That's it, I'm gonna leave it for one further day at room temperature in a plastic bowl, pop it in the fridge to make it nice and cold, and when I serve it, I always serve this one with a slice of orange. Just goes really, really well. But that's it, the wonders of nettle beer. Enjoy.